Hello and welcome to Captain Bob. Today I'm going to show you how you can make your own altimeter for a flight simulator. Captain Bob, Captain Bob, he's my best friend and he should be yours too. For this build you will need a stepper motor, its control board, and jumper wires, an Arduino Mega 2560, a rotary encoder, hmm... I think I'm forgetting one thing. Oh yeah! You'll also need these 3D printed parts. I also forgot to mention that you'll need these small brass pipes and a little bit of copper. I'll leave a link to all of these in the description below. I'm marking these with my caliper but it really doesn't ma matter because the sharpie already messed up my measurement. You can also put the pipe in the drill itself and then grab some sandpaper and then file off the bit that the saw made. Now I have this cone shaped uh, file on a drill and so now I can just put it here and file away. So there you have it. You have these and they all telescope and rotate. You may need to do more filing to get them to work smoothly and put oil in them, but this is a good start. So now we can add this support. So this will go right here and we'll screw it in with a small screw. You can like This keeps a little bit of separation so that this doesn't go into the rotary encoder and mess up all the gears. This top part goes on to the stepper motor, but to use the stepper motor I'm using, I had to file the top out just a little bit to make it fit. Before I put the gears in, I'm going to screw this on like it would be in the panel. You might notice that each gear corresponds to one of the pipes. For example, the top gear turns the inside pipe, but not the outside pipe, or the middle pipe, if they're all held in place. And then they go through a gear reduction. To show this in a simple way, basically, if the top gear moves a lot, the bottom gear moves only a little you'll see that it's barely moving but if you do a bunch of turns you'll see that it is in fact moving our step right now is to glue the pipes into the gears themselves I'm using some crazy super glue and I think it'll work nicely just put a dot or so on the gear inside and then put the pipe in right here. Make sure that it's about parallel and then you can do the rest of them. Right now you can put the fat gear in, should look like this with the empty part on the top, through here. Then you can put one of these standard gears here on the right side, then the middle gear 
through the fat gear. Then the standard gear again on the right side. Then finally we'll do the skinniest gear. You can also place a spacer or two down here. You can modify the dimensions in your slicer. And then put the top on. Now you can place your stepper motor right here. We'll drill the holes, the new holes in a few seconds. But first we're going to do the hands. When you're putting the hands on, you want to make sure that they all are oriented to the zero. Now we can put a super small dot of hot glue right here just to make sure it'll stay. Of course, after we've filed it down. And then put it on. And you want to make sure that it moves with the gear. And it looks like it does. Now we can do the same thing with the next layer. You can tell that now these two work together. So now when it so now when it says one here, it also says one here, which is the desired course of action. Now for the top layer, we're going to do the same exact step, and this time it will be a fully functioning altimeter. Assuming I can get this little guy on. And so now, you have your fully functioning altimeter. Could use a little more tweaking, and we'll tweak it later, but this is the goal. For now, I'm going to screw this in, or hot glue it, and then hot glue this to the encoder hole right here. Since I'm using a different motor, these holes don't line up, so you can drill your own, or I'm going to temporarily hot glue them. You can then put this piece on top of it. And then get side snips and cut the bottom so that it's flush. Now we can get to the wiring. For the wiring, you plug the stepper motor into its P control PCB. Then you take four jumper wires from IN1 through IN4 to your pins on the Arduino. In my case, I'm using two through six. From the minus, where it says five, you run a wire to ground on your Arduino. Then where it says plus, you run a wire from the plus to your five volt pin. Now the hands are complete, but the encoder for the altimeter setting is not complete. Okay, For the encoder, the middle wire, the middle terminal, goes to ground. Then the other two sides go to your inputs. To separate these, I'll be using pins 22 and 23. So it's not confusing. So now we have our altimeter, and not gonna lie, it looks kind of sketchy. <laughs> and now we have our altimeter, and we can get configuring. 
Now that we've gotten the altimeter done, we can go to the computer. So now we are in Moby Flight and we can go to Extras, Settings, Moby Flight Modules, Moby Flight Mega, add a device, and we are going to add a stepper motor because that's the motor we're using. We are using pins 2 through 5 and it auto filled so we're good. This will be the altimeter stepper. We are going to add a second device and that's an encoder. I used pins 22 and 23 for this. It really doesn't matter the pins you use. And for now we're going to do one detent per cycle. This will be Now we can upload. And it finished, so you can go OK. Now in the inputs tab, we'll start with the encoder. We'll do altimeter meter setting. So click edit on input. Moby Flight Module, Altimeter Setting, uh, that's the encoder. And then Action Type, either FSUIPC Offset or Event ID. For this, you, we are going to use our preset because it's here. And we're going to use Altimeter Setting in millibars. And click Use, and here it is. This is on left. And then on right, we can do the same thing. Okay. On left, we will say dollar sign minus one. And then on right, we will say dollar sign plus one. Dollar sign is the X, so the altimeter setting. And then minus one is it going down one. Then plus one is it going up one. We can now test this and see if it works. Okay, while this is loading, go ahead and subscribe or whatever. <laughs> now if we are right here, and we turn this knob, the altimeter setting turns as well. Of course it is not to the right amount per turn, so we can edit that here until it gets right. I think it should be, for me, about like 10. Now you can match the values until they're roughly right. For me, a value of about 10 was good. I'll tweak it more later, but for the sake of time, we won't go too much into it. Maybe even a value of 3 would work better. Now that we have the altimeter setting roughly good, it won't go too much into it because it's different for every encoder, we can go to the output tab. And then we are going to make our stepper motor event. So this is will be altimeter step, stepper. And if we edit it, use preset. Uh, okay. Instead of using the preset, I've decided that I'll use the one uh, in the FSUIPC offsets list. Uh, it's it has an offset code of three three two four, and the size in bytes is four. Then we can put this into our display. I uh, will use Moby Light Mega, Stepper, and then uh, we'll use this for now. It won't be compass mode. Wait, will it? 
No, it won't. We will not use compass mode, and for now we'll just press test. So now we're at 500 feet, and now we're back at zero. Okay, it looks like it's only off by about 20 feet, which is good. Overall, I'm very pleased with its ability to work and its relative precision. The value right here basically means that whenever the simulator moves 1000, the stepper motor will move 2040. So basically for every 1000 feet, the stepper motor will move 2040 steps or one rotation. And that is good because uh, one full rotation of the top hand equals 1,000 feet. So we don't have to tweak this unless it's a weird, like, metric altimeter that goes by meters or something random like that. We can click active and test this out. So now these are matching pretty much exactly. So of course using better glue will help I would just will change out some things later so I don't want it to be permanent. But as you can see, now it is a functioning altimeter. Now that the altimeter is working, you can go to some of my other videos and see how to make the airspeed indicator, ver vertical speed indicator, and tachometer. I hope to also make the rest of the instruments so you should like and ring the bell so you're notified when I finish up a video. Have a fantabulous rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.